There is a saying here in Portugal, Abril Aguas Mil, which refers to how even though it's finally spring, April is one of the most rainy months in this country, especially in the north where I live. To go with this weather, I want to show you how I made this rain-inspired necklace, which I call Petricor, the word to describe the smell of wet soil after the rain. This piece is made out of tiny silver wires fused directly into a silver chain. To start, I have to cut many of these wires with an exact measurement. And cut, cut, cut again, and keep cutting until I have about 200 of these. I guess you got the idea. Next, it's time for the fire. I have to fuse one side of each of these wires, which takes forever. So I try to take a few breaks to rest and cool down my torch and my tweezers. As it's a really slow and repetitive work, I even watch a series while doing it to pass the time and keep going until I get a mountain of wires like this. To join them to the chain, I put them one by one to form a row. Place them on my soldering brick and carefully melt the opposite tip of each wire. This is the most complicated and risky step to make this piece, because it's really easy to melt the chain, ruin the whole necklace and it's kind of impossible to get it back. So I prefer to do this in several rows and focus on melting only a few of them every time and get a beautiful rounded tip until the chain is completed. After cooling it down, I check the wires and bend them a bit with pliers to get more movement. In this process many of them break and I can reuse them by melting them into silver balls but I have to redo all of this with new wire and fuse them again into the chain carefully applying fire to not melt the rest of the piece Now it goes for an overnight bath into the pickling solution and it's time to work with the stone for this necklace I'm using a beautiful London blue topaz. I measured the height and added 1mm to make the bezel out of silver sheet. For the length of the bezel, I wrap the stone in a paper strip, add 5mm extra and cut the metal. I'm making a double bezel, which means there's a second interior bezel working as a riser or seat for the lower part of the stone to make it balanced. So I cut the two bezels, made them flat and soldered them. Next I gave the shape of the bezel with pliers until it fits perfectly with the stone, soldered the joint, cut the excess and put a bail. After a bit of sanding, it's ready to join to the chain. The chain is now nice and clean, so it's time to solder a jump ring to the vessel and set the stone. After a cleanup and polish, I tumble the whole necklace, and this is the final result. This is one of my favorite pieces so far by now. Even if it's so complicated and tiring to make it, I love how expressive it is, and I can really see and feel the water drops as the inspiration behind it. Thanks for joining me in this little adventure, and see you next time!